I am thrilled to share with you some of the programming that we'll be doing together on Canada Day this year, on the 150th anniversary of Confederation, on our sesquicentennial, this important milestone for our place and an important opportunity for all of us to strengthen our sense of what it means to be Canadian. With the City of Calgary, we'll start at Confederation Park. At Confederation Park this year, there'll be entertainment and the opening of the centennial time capsule buried there in 1967, I think at the opening of Confederation Park. And at the place where this city began, we will participate in entertainment and excitement and the NMAX living flag, where everyone in attendance will have the opportunity to don red or white and make a giant Canadian flag. Here at Prince's Island again this year, we're going to have a giant indigenous showcase and powwow. And 1,500 guitarists will be playing Ian Tyson's Four Strong Winds, or as I like to call it, Alberta's Provincial Anthem. Come to the main stage on Riverfront Avenue where we will have a concert by Calgary's own Tegan and Sarah headlining that show, followed by an extraordinary 30-minute fireworks display. This year, we also celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. In this milestone year for our country, I know that this year Canada's celebrations across Canada will be especially exciting. Today we are gathered to announce our government's commitment to Calgary's Canada Day celebrations, which will take place at various locations across our beautiful city. On July the 1st, in partnership with the Department of Canadian Heritage, we will be celebrating Canada's rich history and our development as a multicultural, bilingual nation with deep indigenous roots. So our roster is ready, the stages are set, and we are thinking that we're gonna be welcoming probably something in the neighborhood of 250,000 visitors to a full day of Made in Canada activities and entertainment.